plastic can and bring it over. What about the books we've been reading lately with the crocodiles? What we're doing at Fell Timber Children's Centre, we had an opportunity with the Link in Learning um, project support was to trial a different way of professional development. And it really works, doesn't so it? So we had Meredith Lane be our specialist support for the professional development. Meredith just made me feel so comfortable that it was just, yeah, it was good. It was good learning opportunity. How about you have a go at drawing them? The beauty of this program is that it gives the teachers some really tangible strategies that they can implement when they're working with children. Um, it supports the interactions between themselves and the children as well as between the children and their peers. And some of the strategies look at actually how you recognise that a child has made an initiation with you and how to respond to that and how to keep interactions going for longer. So you squish it together first. The, what this program uses is the principles of reflective practice. So um, it's one of the ways that we actually learn best. We're actually working on giving the educators some skills that they can use. They have a week to really hone those skills and to practice them um, in their um, kindergarten setting. And then when we come back, we video record the teachers using those skills. Then we sit down together. Um, just the two of us and have a look at the video and it gives the educators an opportunity to reflect on their own practice. So they get to identify where they see themselves using the skills, they get to identify some situations where they possibly could have um, drawn on the skills a little bit more. But the other thing about the video feedback is it really offers lots of different opportunities for seeing how children are progressing as well. Um, even though our focus isn't on the children, it can really highlight some of those beautiful little subtle interactions that we miss in the everyday sort of action and activity of a kindergarten setting. You got to see what particular children, um, where they were at with language, so um, things that you could do to promote their language development, ways that they were interacting with other children, how you could support and develop that. That's what I found was really good. So one of the strategies that we learnt was um, introducing children that play inter independently to each other and getting them to have conversations and engage with, it, with, with each other without educators' support. One of the things that we really look at is letting the child take the lead. So rather than a teacher trying to set up a situation where an interaction might occur, it's actually letting the child determine how an interaction is going to go. And that can take you to some really interesting places. These opportunities can occur at any time when we're working with children or even just being with children. That's what we're doing. We're trying to see which marble is the fastest. It's around taking turns. It's around listening and reflecting back what they're saying to you. They you know, really enjoy talking about their own life, so if you can try and encourage them to discuss things about that's really important to them, uh, then it makes more sense to them and you can obviously extend their language further. What can we do to get it? We could scrape it all in. When you're working all the time with intentionality, it means that every interaction you have, everything you put out, everywhere you go, every time you move a piece of furniture, you've got a specific purpose for that. So it's really becoming conscious of what you're doing throughout the day, every minute of the day. And when in interaction going, what I'm going to say has some purpose, has some meaning and will hopefully benefit the child's learning and development. I always am very honest if I don't know things, if the children ask me, um, and I say, well, let's find out, you know? So it's very, it's fun. It's interesting to find out new things and keep learning. So Lincoln Learning has added value to the programs we're doing by supporting the professional development and trialling other ways of working. Um, but it's also good then to put back into Lincoln Learning what that means and what we got out of it so we can share some best practice um, with the wider professional early years field. It's been fantastic just to see what I do in my practice and just to reflect and refine my skills.